Hi, I'm Kirby Woods. I'm here at the National Farm Machinery Show this year. I'm with Fent. I'm on the Fent Momentum Marketing Team. Uh, this year we introduced the 30-foot uh, Fent Momentum Planter. Um, when we brought it out, we, brought, we originally brought the Fent Momentum Planter out several years ago um, in a 40 and a 60-foot model. What we saw is that a lot of the growers um, wanted the technology that I'm going to talk about in a second into a smaller frame planter. So that's why the 30-foot. So I want to show you guys the, the VCT, our vertical contouring toolbar. The idea is we're able to follow the train better than any other planter on the market. We do that because our toolbars are set back and they're independent of each other. So if I look at this, this left wing, this toolbar is a different height than the center and the wing. So I'm able to fo very easily follow the train. Uh, we can run up to, we can run up, have 52 inches of travel because of that VTC. So once again, keeping the seat at depth is, uh, is very important to us. So we're able to let that toolbar right up and down and not, not run out of row unit travel. So that is part of the 30 foot, just like the 40 and the 60. We also have our smart frame technology and our low logic system. So low logic system, what it entails is I've got a smart spindle, so I'm basically weighing the weight that each wheel is carrying. And then I basically take that and I can apply that to two systems where I adjust how much weight I'm carrying across the width of the toolbar. So if I need to um, balance the planter out uh, because of my weight changes in my seed hop or my fertilizer tank, it's automatically going to adjust that weight, reducing those pinch rows, reducing compaction. And, and giving the guy a higher yield because I'm not fighting the pinch rows and compaction. I also do that, another part of the load logic side of things is my weight, or my, excuse me, tire inflation system. So I'm, I'm once again, I'm measuring how much weight I'm carrying on each axle. And then I'm adjusting my tire pressure to increase that footprint. When I increase that footprint of that tire, I reduce the pounds per square inch on the ground, reducing compaction. So just like the weight transfer part of load logic, the tire inflation system is automatic. And it's always adjusting for the weight the planter's carry. So giving the operator the best performance um, and, and we, we have in the field. So, so what we've seen uh, study year after year, it's consistently six bushel an acre. Um, and we've seen that really across the country. So. Uh, we, we continue to do crop tours to promote that as we go into a new area. Uh, we've got a lot of uh, dealer expansion that we're getting momentums into places, um, new places. We're going into Canada, um, some, we're doing more specialty crops, and just always going back and proving that, hey, the load logic side of it and, and the wheel configuration of uh, the momentum planter is, is it has that payback that we talked about. So on the on the 30 foot, it's going to be you know that a little bit smaller acres, uh, maybe a little bit smaller fields. Um, let's say 1,500, 2,000 acres. Uh, it really depends on on the the person's operation. Um, really making a smaller planter sometimes that is more transportable. It's easier to get in and out of fields. Um, it's easier to if I have smaller fields, odd shaped fields. It's it's easier to maneuver that and it, it, a smaller planter sometimes helps me be plant faster because I, it's, it's more maneuverable. Uh, the other thing we could do is we could put um, precision planting speed tubes on the planter so that if I want that smaller planter, but I want the capacity of a bigger planter, I can, I can plant higher speeds and get those acres per hour done um, like a big, bigger planter would, but in a smaller package.